Rough Riders and Rockhound seeing the series shift to Midland Security Bank Ballpark, and today we're joined by last night's Game 2 starter for the Rough Riders, Jared Eikhoff. Jared, it was your first career playoff start. Anything different about it from what you went through on the mound? Um, not so much. I think it's a lot of times the, the pressure uh, comes from just putting too much pressure on yourself, and I just tried to go out there and you know act like it was any other game. and. Um, you know, just get my chance to go as long as I can and get my chance and uh, give my chance to team to win or <laughs> give my chance to team to win. That was there's, there you go, the the phrase of the of the week there. Um, so that's 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 what I try to do there. That's an Alec Asher quote yes. for everyone uh, who's not aware of that uh, uh, yet. Yeah. I, I, I'm forced to uh, uh, to put that in my interviews from here on out. So. You know, there were runners on scoring position almost every single inning that you were out there. Did that make it feel stress-wise that you threw even more than the 98 or whatever pitches you threw? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think being late in the year, obviously, and um, being in uncharted waters with, you know, innings this year and, um, and yeah, the, the, being the guys on second base and in, in third base, obviously, is it's definitely stressful. So you got to uh, just try to battle through it as best you can and, um just trying to keep pushing it off and get the next hitter out. So, I know that Alec, who's starting tonight, knows these guys. He's pitched against them a bunch. You've pitched against this Midland team a lot. What is the challenge of facing this Midland offense? Uh, well, they got they got a lot of um, a lot of older hitters. They've been in the league a while and they've they've been around and they they got a sense of a good sense of the zone and um, a good ch a good feel of when to take when when to swing and things like that. So it, the, the biggest thing is getting ahead and staying ahead and finish them when you when you can with your pitch you want to throw and uh, when you get behind that they make it tough because they they see pitches they get deep in the counts and they they force you into counts that uh, that provides good swings for them do you have to be careful not to overthink it sometimes too because you know these hitters you know a lot of where their holes are but you know that they know your stuff so you have to kind of try and stay ahead of the hitter but not try and think too much because it is a fairly simple game Right, right. I think the and the biggest thing is just attacking the zone as best you can, um, moving in and out, up and down, moving eye levels. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing. Is that that's that's the, you know, the the uh, the, the ground. That's the that's where you uh, get ba get a base from and you go off of and uh, you just try to attack the zone and mix pitches and you know change speeds. Were you disappointed with how last night's outing ended for you individually? Um. I don't think so. I think, you know, I, I was frustrated at the, at the moment, at that very second when I saw Woody walking out to get me. But uh, I know that, it, you know, it's playoff time and I, I did my part to, you know, keep my team in the game. There was a lot of things during that time that um, didn't go how I'd like to go, but I was able to get out of it. And um, the biggest thing is just keep my, like I said, keeping my team in the game and giving our, uh, giving our team a chance. We're here with Riders starting pitcher Jared Eikhoff. It's tough to beat a team four consecutive times. You had the last two games of the previous series and potentially the first two games of this playoff series. What was the feeling among the team after the game? Was it a, a real disappointment sense or was it, hey, you know, this team was due and they were due and they just picked up the win tonight? Yeah, I think we, we just try to stay confident. I know last night, I think one of those games, I, I can't remember the last time we had four errors in a game. and. Um, so that being said, or you know, just just that in general, just how I think we just weren't as crisp. I think we just got away from like the fundamentals. I think a little bit, but uh, I'm very confident. I think everybody else was confident after we got in the clubhouse that hey, that's one of those games. We're good enough. We can get back here and get right back in it. So is there also some confidence knowing that you guys have played well at this ballpark this season? Last two series, I think you've come up with series wins in this park. I've never actually thought about it personally, but I know I know uh, there's there's guys in the dugout that say that, but. I don't think that really plays a plays a factor. I think we just come out here and it just turns out to turns out to be that we play well here. So uh, we're just going to go out and give it our give it our best shot. We hope that it wasn't your last start, but theoretically it could have been your final start of the season last night if things don't go well these next few days. That being said, what is the takeaway from the things that you've learned in your development over the course of the season, a full season at Double A? Uh, one of the things, just the importance of uh, the all all the all pitches I have for strikes. I, I think um, getting ahead and staying ahead and um, realizing what pitches for me get outs, and that's I think that was the biggest thing for me this year. And um, I found that through several pitches. So that was uh, that was really key key for me this year. 
And what is next for you? What's the next goal? Uh, obviously, you want to make it up to the major leagues, but development-wise, what do you still feel like, okay, this is where I have a little bit of work to grow and get to that point where I can be a big leaguer? Uh, the, the sharpness of the pitches in general, I think, um, w- will help me out. But uh, just the sharpening up of specifically my slider and change up, just getting a consistent arm path, consistent break, and uh, just consistency in general is uh, in my delivery and uh, pitches and everything as well. Well, Jared, we hope that it's not the end of the line. We hope you have one more start coming up against the North Division team. It's been great talking to you all year, and hopefully uh, we're still seeing you pitch at least one more game of the rest of the season. Thanks so much for the time. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you very much. That's Rough Riders pitcher Jared Eikhoff. We're back right after this here on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.